I, I love outdoor spaces, landscapes, gardens, I've always loved working with them. And the thing is, uh, when we think about outdoor furniture, we think about it in its moment of use. Um, on a warm summer's day, people sitting on it, enjoying it, eating outside. But that's only part of the story. Or maybe it isn't in the Mediterranean or in warmer countries, but certainly where, from where I'm from in London, I look out on my garden. Uh, and most of the year it's not a sunny, beautiful day, and most of the year we're not eating out there. So I want the garden to always be a, ch a place which is beautiful throughout the year and which changes with the seasons and which always works with the seasons. So I want a, a collection of furniture that's comfortable and, and beautiful and sculptural in the summer while it's being used and while, enjoy you know, it's, while you have social gatherings and people are there enjoying it. But then when the autumn comes, I don't want to have to stack the furniture and find somewhere to put it and put it away and then have nothing. I still want those pieces to exist. So with these, by just taking away the cushions, you have something that's very sculptural. So this will look beautiful in the autumn when the garden is full of leaves and this is covered in leaves too with this camouflage pattern. It's going to look beautiful. In the winter with the rust finish, when it has snow on it, it's going to look beautiful. It's going to be like having a sculpture in your garden as it changes. And then in the spring, when the grass starts to grow up through it and the, the spring flowers start to arrive, again, it's beautiful in a different way, changing with the lights, with the different weather, with cloudy days, with sunny days. I think most of us do live um, in temperate climates. Um, and for that, you want something that's going to work all year round and be beautiful all year round and be a part of the landscape permanently rather than a temporary addition to it and change in the way that you, perce that you perceive it and the way that you use it throughout the year. The challenges that we always face in working with production furniture is that we have a very clear uh, sculptural and contextual aesthetic. Uh, and at Fredericks and Starr, we work a lot with one-off pieces and limited edition furniture, where we can use uh, a greater variety of materials, technical processes, um, and there can be more of a budget for it. But we love to do things which are more accessible and more affordable too. So it is, of course, a challenge to still keep the same levels, but make it more affordable. But we've done that with these pieces. Um, if I was making it as a one-off for my garden, I might have made it from steel. We've used aluminium, but it's much lighter to move around. Um, it's easier to work with, it's more affordable. But we haven't lost anything, because by having the, the beautiful, very pure white finish, or by having the rust effect, which still has that industrial, very sculptural feel of a metal like steel, um, but still has the practicalities of aluminium. So I guess that's it really. I think, and I think this really has worked, and that it, from Frederick and Salad's sculptural side, it fits perfectly with what we do, but also as a commercial piece of production furniture, it still does everything it should do for that as well, so I'm really happy. Um, the main technology in, in producing it is uh, the use of laser cutting of sheet aluminium. Uh, we took the camouflage pattern as, pattern as our base and worked with that and then you know, it creates a very beautiful uh, play of light through the piece and the casting of shadows um, as well as also making it lighter at the same time um, and feeling more open but still keeping its sculptural quality so that's the main. With, with the camouflage pattern as well, I mean it's a very utilitarian pattern but at the same time it's very sculptural and very decorative and you think about what camouflage pattern is intended to do, it's intended to blend in to nature. So although we haven't used the colours of camouflage, it still has that sense that it belongs to the environment.